Hi everybody. Uh, in a previous video I told you about using the Sony uh, Alpha 7R with third-party lenses and this uh, particular lens is uh, one I would like to point out among those. Uh, this one's called uh, Valimex in Germany. Um, it has other names in other countries, but it's a manual focus 85 millimeter uh, f1.4 lens. So on a full frame camera, it's a perfect um, portrait lens. And I would like to show you some samples to really sh let you know how good I think this lens is. Uh, it's, as I said, it's a manual focus lens. Uh, which in the end I think comparing it for example to the um, f1.8 55 millimeters from Sony that I have for the a7 um, is not st strictly a disadvantage because my impression was that um, in many cases the focus if you if you rely on the autofocus uh, this happened to me just yesterday in, uh, on a portrait um, where it ended up focusing on the wrong eye. The difference is slight, but if you look at the photo from a, well, strict point of view, it's, it's bad, it's not good. So um, let me tell you something about this uh, lens. The lens is um, quite big, it's quite heavy, and maybe on the um, A7 it's, well, it's it's a little heavy to the front, but you can handle it as with many third party lenses that are larger, you will end up holding on to the lens and not so much to the camera. Uh, the advantage and what I really suggest to do is, uh, well, obviously use focus peaking with this lens. Uh, what I also suggest is uh, using the enlargement function you have where you can select a, a, a frame inside the the well the larger frame and enlarge that to focus accurately on you on what you really want to be in focus um, I personally even put that function on the on the C1 button here and uh, so I can access it very quickly uh, since I use third-party lenses very often and most of them are manual focus uh, or actually putting them on on the a7 um, they're all manual focus in my case um, it's it's definitely something that will help you a lot and in the end you will really be happier than even with the autofocus lenses the pictures I'm going to show you are just out of my window but they're really to show you um, how this lens performs and how you can really uh, work with the depth of field focusing uh, changing the f uh, the focus plane in a way that is really hard to do and the pictures you will see are taken from a distance of about 10 meters so like 33 feet uh, it's amazing how you can really shift the the, the focus plane uh, from the background to the foreground and please consider that the foreground is 10 meters away from me so in many cases you will not see a difference once you focus to 10 meters from that to infinity with uh, the aperture of 1.4 on this lens it does make a huge difference so have a look at the pictures um, they're taken with a tripod because uh, it's not so easy to uh, to focus and to keep this this configuration steady also because of the weight difference between the camera and the and the lens with a heavier camera you may have less of a of a problem holding it steady but since it's a quite quite a light camera and the high megapixel count does not contribute to uh, easy uh, steadying the camera one more thing i would like to point out before i let you have a look at the at the samples is uh, that the f once you focus manually, even with this lens, um, it's quite difficult. I mean, the focus, the spot on focus sometimes is really a millimeter of turn in, in, the, in the focus dial. So you really wanna be very, very accurate because otherwise 
with with the sh that shallow depth of field you will really move a few centimeters or a few feet back and forth by just moving this a few millimeters however my my resume like my impression of the lens is it's a great lens for the price it's unbeatable because there's nothing uh you that compares to this price wise uh if you if you pick any lens by uh, one of the major manufacturers you will we'll be spending many times more uh, and not just much more for a lens of this quality so if you want if you're looking for a for a portrait lens for a lens where you can really take a person and cut that person out of the background very very neatly and still very sharply this is the lens you may want to have a look at so uh, without further to say uh, have a look at the pictures i put some comments on the uh, single pictures so i don't have to tell you any anything more uh, and decide for yourself if you like it or not thanks and see you back here soon